Good morning, I'm Trish Pahonik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Tuesday, December 15th, 2010. Here are today's top stories. Fox decided to pull the five remaining episodes of sitcom Running Wild, as well as the one-hour finale episode, off of its schedule this month. Fox says these episodes will air, though has not said when. ABC renewed its agreement with Jimmy Kimmel, keeping the late-night star as host of his show for two more years. The new deal will take Jimmy Kimmel live to a tenth season. In February, syndicated game show Jeopardy will air the first-ever man-versus-machine battle as two of the highest-winning contestants on Jeopardy, Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter, will take on a specially built IBM computing system named Watson. The special competition will air over three days on February 14th through the 16th. Over at BBC America, they've acquired the Showtime drama series The Tudors, giving the network the exclusive basic cable rights to air all four seasons. Now, The Tudors will begin with an all-day marathon of seasons one and two on January 16th at 9 a.m., and episodes will air in the regular time slot on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Virginia Madsen landed a recurring role on NBC's The Event, playing the role of attorney Catherine Lewis, the widow of an Alaskan senator who inherited his position. And Natalie Morales is joining Latina Magazine as a contributing columnist, offering her insights on parenting. Morales' monthly column named Modern Mammy will debut in the February 2011 issue. A&E Network will debut the new original real-life series, Heavy, on January 17th at 10 p.m. The series follows two people per episode as they lose a dramatic amount of weight over a six-month treatment program. Well-known food journalist Mark Bittman will have a new show on the Cooking Channel as The Minimalist premieres January 2nd at 10.30 a.m. Planet Green goes to the town of Partial, North Dakota, for a new original docu-series, Boomtown, which will begin on January 29th and starts at 10 p.m., the series explores how this small, poor town has become a rich, booming community due to recently discovered oil fields. And VH1 is offering up a second season of Your Cut Off, which will premiere January 10th at 9 p.m., ESPN's live broadband sports network, ESPN3.com, will finish off its 2010-2011 college football season with live coverage of 32 bowl games and related trophy presentations. And E! continues to follow members of the Kardashian family as the newest series, Courtney and Kim Take New York, premieres January 23rd at 10 p.m. And on Sunday night, History's Season 4 launch of Axemen tallied 2.1 million total viewers at 9 p.m. And Sunday Season 2 premiere of Basketball Wives on VH1 at 9 p.m. scored 1.4 million total viewers. Current TV picked up two series debuting next month, This American Life, hosted by Ira Glass. It will premiere on January 10th at 10 p.m. And Kill It, Cook It, Eat It popular UK series will make its US television debut on January 11th, also at 10 p.m. Fox Sports Media Group re-upped its exclusive media rights in the US and Caribbean to the UEFA Champions League for three more seasons. Fox News Channel extended a multi-year contract with Brett Baer, where he will continue to anchor special report at 6 p.m. and serve as the network's primary political news anchor. And last up, TV audiences won't be seeing David Hasselhoff any longer on his short-lived A&E Network reality series. UK viewers will as the actor entertainment is joining Britain's Got Talent as a judge. And that's a wrap for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into today's podcast, and remember to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonic. I'm going to have a good day, even if 
if I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.